World War II was a major conflict that virtually involved every part of the world between the years 1939 and 1945. The war disrupted the economy of the world, and many lives were lost, including properties, but you know what? Adolf Hitler and the German forces were defeated. The U.S. Air Forces attributed the war airstrike victory to the fighter aircraft P-51s. The U.S. Air Forces eventually confirmed that the North American P-51 aircraft, which is also known as the Mustang, was indeed a strategic fighter jet that aided America's victory in World War II. What is this P-51 aircraft? Why did it perform so well during World War II? And what is the present state of the P-51 Mustang fighter jet? Stay tuned, don't go anywhere, we have all the information you need about it. Welcome everyone, it's nice to see you once again. Welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we give you trending updates about warplanes, from the new version of planes in the air to the currently famous and the most advanced ones. Stay tuned with us until the end of the video, so that you don't miss out on any information. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the bell icon. You won't want to miss any of our incredible videos, and it begins… The P-51 Fighter Jet P-51 is a single-seat, single-engine fighter aircraft originally designed and produced by North American Aviation for the British Royal Air Force, and later adopted by the U.S. Army Air Forces. The P-51 is widely regarded as the finest all-around piston-engine fighter of World War II to be produced. Origination and the History of How the P-51 Aircraft Performed in the World War The P-51 originated during World War II. It started with an April 1940 proposal where the British Aircraft Purchasing Commission proposed to North American Aviation about designing a new fighter jet that can escort Allied Forces bombers back and forth to their targets in Germany. North American Aviation was to produce a variant of the Curtis P-40 Warhawk under license for the British Royal Air Forces. However, the proposal came along with a big problem. The design of the to-be-produced fighter jet was an old design. It will not be useful. So rather than using an old design, the North American proposed to the British Commission to create an aircraft with a new and more advanced design. The British Commission agreed, but with a clause. The fighter jet must be delivered in 120 days. North American Aviation delivered the fighter aircraft on time and named it NA-73X. The NA-73X later became the precursor to the great P-51, commonly known as Mustang. P-51 went into production in May 1941 and started participating in RAF combat missions in April 1942. A total of 1,579 Mustangs with Allison engines were built. The first version of the P-51 fighter jet was the P-51A. It began combat operations in 1942, two years after the North American produced the NA-73X. Mustang later became one of the best and most well-known fighters used by the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II. Possessing excellent range and maneuverability, the P-51A operated primarily as a long-range escort fighter and a ground-attack fighter bomber. The Mustang served in nearly every combat zone during World War II. The Mustang was first designed to be powered by Allison's engine. The Mustang had a low-drag laminar flow wing and an efficient low-drag engine cooling system that gave it exceptional speed and range. It had a maximum speed of about 390 miles per hour and a combat range of roughly 750 miles. The Mustang's usage of external drop tanks nearly doubled its operational range to 1,375 miles. But with everything, there was a drawback. The only drawback was that the Allison engine that powered the aircraft lacked an efficient high-altitude supercharger which restricted the plane to low-altitude operations below 15,000 feet. With the issues with Allison's engine, the 8th Air Force suffered heavy casualties against the Luftwaffe. P-51 back to full gear with new Merlin engine In the interim, the British tested the Mustangs with the potent Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and found that the fighter had exceptional high-altitude performance because of Merlin's effective mechanical supercharger. North America swiftly adopted this strategy. The Packard Motor Company was already manufacturing the Merlin at this time, and by the summer of 1943, P-51D with Packard Merlin engines were rolling off North American's production line. Midway through December 1943, Merlin-powered P-51D flying with jettisoned drop tanks launched their first long-range bomber escort missions over Germany. These aircraft had an operational range of more than 1,600 miles. They swiftly gained the upper hand over the ME-109 and FW-190, two of Germany's best fighters. Above 20,000 feet, the P-51D's advantage was very clear. By the end of the year 1943, the crippling losses which the U.S. bombers had previously suffered were drastically reduced. By February 1944, only 3.5% of bombers that flew against Germany were lost, compared to 9.1% in 1943. 
The P-51 was the first single-engine plane based in England with enough range to penetrate Germany as well as the first to reach Berlin. From that point, Germany was practically bombarded non-stop. The Mustang, despite being small in number, could enter German airspace farther than the other American fighters and be more effective in air-to-air -air combat. This contributed greatly to the downing of the Luftwaffe. What you should know about the later P-51D version The most widely produced version of the P-51D, fitted with a plexiglass bubble canopy for all-around vision, it flew to a maximum speed of about 440 miles per hour, reached an operating ceiling of almost 42,000 feet, and was armed with six wing-mounted 0.50-inch machine guns. Hardpoints below each wing allowed the P-51D to be fitted with 500-pound bombs or three-shot 4.5-inch rocket launchers, bolstering its capabilities as a close air support platform. By March 1944, P-51D was available in quantity and in combination as an escort with drop tank-equipped P-47 Thunderbolts and P-38s, they took over the daylight skies in Germany. 275 Mustang pilots in World War II attained the ACE rank, a designation bestowed to pilots who claimed five or more aerial victories. A total of 2,116 enemy aircraft were shot down by Mustang pilots, which was an average of 7.69 per ace. More than any other Allied fighter, Mustang pilots had downed 4,950 enemy aircraft by the conclusion of the war. P-51 still in service after World War II. Early in the Korean War, 1950-1953, P-51s were employed for ground attack missions, with several being extricated from mothballs. Additionally, nationalist troops in the Chinese Civil War and Israel in the Sinai invasion in 1956 both employed Mustangs. The last time P-51s were in combat was in Salvadoran hands during the 1969 soccer war with Honduras. P-51s continued to serve in less developed nations until the 1960s. The United States stopped P-51 production. In the U.S., about 13,300 Mustangs with Merlin engines were built. The P-51 was still in use by the Air Force for some years after the war, even though production contracts were terminated. The Mustang's designation changed from P-51 for pursuit to F-51 for fighter. As the newly formed U.S. Air Force began to use more advanced jet fighters, many P-51s were deemed surplus or transferred to reserve units and the Air National Guard. Hill Aerospace Museum's P-51 The Mustang is now on display at the Hill Aerospace Museum in the USA. The particular Mustang on display at Hill Aerospace Museum was built using parts from multiple P-51 fighter aircraft and was placed on display in 1993. Its color scheme matches the Mustang flown by Utah native Colonel Chesley Peterson when he flew with the famous 4th Fighter Group during World War II and is named Audrey in honor of his wife, Audrey Boyce Peterson. More recently on P-51, a P-51 Mustang arrived back on the flight line of the Kentucky Air National Guard base here on April 12 more than six decades after departing. The Mustang, serial number 44-74202, was once assigned to the unit as a military fighter aircraft from 1953 to 1956. Now, it was returning home as a fully restored civilian warbird to fly in the 2019 Thunder Over Louisville Air Show. Seeing the heroic attributes of the P-51 fighter jet, then there is no single doubt that it was the most strategic fighter jet that led the way to the West's victory in World War II. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below, and we would be happy to address them in our next video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our videos. We appreciate your time. Once again, guys, enjoy your day. See you again next time. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.